King Adric and Guindesta are wooing for the first time. No. How do you think they made Osiris? Oh, <gasps> guys. As to feel baby. Wait, what? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. So there is a lot of fun little things we're going to be doing in this episode. Well, well little things. We're going to be doing a lot of fun things in this episode. We are going to be first spending time with Genevieve and John. John has a very special evening planned for him and Genevieve so we'll get to that in a moment. And then we are going to be focusing on the Oasis Springs royal family, specifically Arya and Gabriel. And then we are going to the Winterberg Palace to see Alice May, Caspian and the team and then we're going to see Cedric and a uh, little friend that Cedric has that we're going to spend some time with, which I'm really excited for. And then we are going to have a royal, we're gonna have the Monarchs Ball and, and the, have the Monarchs have a meeting, which we haven't done in a while. So I'm really excited for that, especially because it is in the new Salvadorada Palace, which we have not seen in an episode yet before. I've showed it on stream. I did a full tour on stream that I will link in the video description below if you guys would like to see it. But but yes, I'm so excited. So if you're excited too, make sure you hit that like button. And then before we begin, I did post several story posts since the last episode. So those are linked below as usual. If you have not seen them, I posted, well, there was there was two, it was part one and part two that was supposed to technically be before the last episode, but um, it was uh, Samaria and Makana visiting Kaleo at military school. So we got to see that conversation and, and uh, had a little update on Kaleo from there. And then we had a post Post. That was a check-in post with Cedric, and I will get to that in a moment. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. And then we also had the post from the garden party of Alice May and Corn Farm and Corn Farm meeting Caspian for the first time. So that took place in the last episode. I posted those story posts so you guys get a more detailed look. And then we had a post that was technically the setup post for this episode with Arya and Gabriel, and I will talk about that more when we get to that later as well. So. We are currently in Tartosa. This is the first time we're in Tartosa since the wedding pack came out. And I did mention in the last episode that Tartosa is an expansion of Brindleton Bay. And then also a heads up, this will be far in the future, but I, there's a chance I might change Brindleton Bay to Tartosa, like change the kingdom name to Tartosa because that is, this is more like in the direction that I wanted Brindleton Bay to be going. It's like, it, it's a very, it's like the newest kingdom. So it, it, it's still growing, um, but we'll get to that later. That honestly probably won't even be till season three. I just wanted to bring it up because I just didn't want it to come out of nowhere. And there will be some new palaces here for the Burlington Bay royal family because of course all the royal families have multiple palaces, but I'll, I'll, I'll show those when we get there. Um, but currently, oh, there's Princess Ty. This is Han's sister. She's just here. I haven't seen her in a while, but we have John and Genevieve. They are currently on a date. John had this cute little restaurant that he made a reservation for them. And then when the sun sets, we'll be able to see it from here. I just hope the date doesn't end by the time that happens. Um, but they're, they're still waiting on their food. Honestly, for those who know, the dine out pack is like super glitched. And I honestly don't even know if they will get their food uh, by the time this date is over, but we'll cross our fingers and see. John and Genevieve, they've been dating for a while. Of course we know he was at first her secret boyfriend and they had dated for a while before they even told anyone. And John has to travel for his job and Genevieve has always wanted to travel the world, but te technically they're traveling together. They've been traveling the world together. So Genevieve hasn't been like home home in, like she's been home, but she hasn't stayed at home or stayed in one place for a long time. For, for a long time. Um, so John has decided to finally propose. Are they celebrating something? I do not know what, but he's decided to propose. They're still waiting on their food. And I kind of wanted them to like go on a walk by the beach. Are they, oh, Ty, you're not our waitress, are you? I hope not. Okay, no, you're, no, you're not. You're, you've, She's just checking on them. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Um, okay. I just wanted it to be sunset so we could see this at sunset. We did just get a gold event. So, oh, did we get a food? They, oh my gosh, they actually got their food. I know that like they've been doing refreshes of packs. Like they did a refresh of spa day. I'm hoping, I think this is just rumored. I don't think it's actually ever been confirmed, but I'm hoping we get a refresh of dine out and they fix all the glitches and maybe add new stuff. Cause I really like the dine out pack, but it's gotten more broken. I feel like as, as time 
has gone on. When I got it years ago, I loved it, but it, it just seems so broken. But at least they got their food. It just took a really long time. Like if you guys have a specific pack that you guys want ref- Oh, that was fast. Um, but if you guys have a specific pack that you guys want refresh, definitely let me know in the comments below. Cause the first one I can think of is Dine Out. I'm trying to think of other ones. I mean, like, I don't think the other ones would hurt either. <laughs> um, but Dine Out is like my top hope right now. Okay, so let me, uh, he's still eating, but the sun is setting and I want them to go on a walk. So end meal and pay. We can go to the beach area and there's the, okay, hold on. Where do we, where do we want? This world is so pretty. Let's go here. Go, yeah, go here together. I don't know how long it's gonna take you to go there, but this seems like a nice little area. Look at the way that sun is hitting the cliffs over there. Oh, it's so pretty. John and Jen, they're going for a, a walk, technically together, although it's not together. I'm so excited to like spend more time in this world. I just love, I, I love getting new different worlds, not the same world that looks like Granite Falls every time, but different worlds uh, or, or Willow Creek. I feel like a lot of the worlds look like Willow Creek too. Okay, they, they, they both made it here. Oh, perfect timing. The sun is setting. This is perfect. Profess undying love. No, wait, where are you going? Wait, wait, where are you going? What? They literally are walking all the way back. You know, they keep walking over there. I think I'm gonna have to end the date. Ending early? Yes, please, go here. You know what, in front of this fountain would work. Okay, he's professing his undying love. This this is perfect, that right here is fine. Okay, he's proposing, he's proposing. Oh wait, oh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is perfect, yay. Oh my gosh, look at the sunset. <gasps> Oh, this was literally perfect timing. This was a oh, such good timing. I'm so happy. Hello, ma'am. Who are you? Okay. Yay, they're engaged. I love this. Look how pretty this is. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at how... Go oh, well, hello. Look how like golden everything is. Oh my goodness gracious. I am obsessed with this. I'm so happy. Okay, all right. All right. Yay, they're engaged. Okay, so we... I... I so... They're going to have a very small wedding. I don't think Genevieve and John are, are ones to want a giant wedding compared to like everyone else. It'll probably be in the next episode. Honestly, there's a chance that uh, they would have rather eloped, but I don't. I, I I think Genevieve would want her family at their wedding. Also, I think her family would want to be at her wedding. So we're not we're not gonna have them do that. They they could even wait. Oh no, it's not open. Oh, I was gonna say we could do all the we could do all the wedding planning stuff. I guess I, I might end up doing this on stream. But we can we can do all the wedding planning stuff with Genevieve and John on stream. And it'll, it'll be so much fun. It might end up being the stream either the stream after this episode comes out or the one after that. But yes yes, it'll be so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay, now we are going to go to the Oasis Springs Palace. All right, so we are now going to focus a bit on the Oasis Springs royal family, and we are having the, or some of the Sulani family, they are currently here, they're, they're here for dinner, but they're staying for a few days. Also, I think in the last episode, yeah, in the last episode, I said that we were going to have Kaleo come back in this episode, and that we were gonna focus on the Sulani royal family, um, but we're actually gonna do that in the next episode, I promise, it's just, there is, a lot I wanted to do in this one before Kaleo came back and when Kaleo comes back I want to pull some focus onto him so uh we're, we're gonna wait and do that in the next episode but okay so they're here now the Sulani royal family are here's just some of them so it's uh Leilana and Dean and Leilana's mother Lokolani and Kimi and Makana and the twins Sione and Palap P sorry, Pilapo, oh god. I think he needs a nickname. I just don't know what the nickname would be, but I'll think about that later. Uh, but they're here, and I think like Naya and uh, Arya and Aisha and Manuel, they probably would have already met the twins, but I think that like Priya, Priya hasn't met them yet. Um, and Juliet might not have either. So they're here and they get to meet them. Um, and then also of course, Nea and Leilana are like best friends. So that would make sense for them, I think to be hosting here. Before we begin though, I want to put a trigger warning for uh, Gabriel and Arya's story, trigger warning for infertility. If you would like to skip this portion of the video, I will put a timestamp here for you guys to skip to um, either just 
skip it or want to come back to it later. I will also put trigger warnings for all their story posts as well. So I did mention the story post, of course, that was like leading up to this part of the episode. And in the story post, we saw that Arya did take a pregnancy test. It was a negative pregnancy test. And it was probably like, she's probably lost count at this point how many she's taken. Arya has always wanted kids. I think she's always wanted to be a mother. Um, and uh, her and Gabriel were like the first to get married. Gabriel asked if they could wait a year to try for kids because he wanted to like enjoy being married to her first. Um, but I think that it's been about a year now since they started trying and Arya is getting super frustrated. So we are going to get to see the Woohoo wellness mod again. We'll get to see an update portion of it. There's a lot to the mod. And of course we've already seen it with Corn Farm and the surrogate, but we, this is an, another portion of it that we'll get to explore. So I'm excited because it'll definitely add a lot more depth to the gameplay and of course you guys will be able to see it and decide if you would like to get it for your gameplay as well um but they're having dinner right now oh also i did make like a I, i've started renovating the oasis springs palace a bit i i think i sh did show it to you guys when lord crumbs had made some renovations to it after we got the oasis courtyard kit but i've i, I pretty much just so far have renovated the towers here i don't know if you guys remember it from before um but and then i added this thing in the middle I, i'm planning on doing more to it. This is just all I was able to get done before this episode. Um, but I, I just, I wanted to change a few things. Oh, are the lights off or are they on? Oh, that's another thing I wanted to do because this is so open. Been. I might close it off because of course we had that whole thing happen with uh, Charlotte. I don't know yet. I like the way it looks with like the arches and everything. It's so pretty. And obviously we'll just, I don't know, pretend it's it's closed actually. Um, but it's, it's hard to take pictures because there's no light during the day. Like the lights only come on at night. So we are going to go ahead and just call to meal first and then we can get started. So what I did did prior to starting to film um let's just let's call it a meal oh we got the new foods with the update too oh oh do i not oh i don't have headline effects on did that work okay yeah 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 okay it did i was like wait hold on so they're now eating dinner also i wasn't sure if i should put the oh i don't even know where they are where are the twins um i didn't know if i should put the newborns because they're in the newborn presets by redhead sims but i was like should i just keep them in a bassinet and have them just there and pose them or should we get some entertainment by the glitches i don't even know what oh i found them oh i found them okay hold on they're not changing the outfits i picked okay so obviously they wouldn't be standing up on their own uh oh no they're sad oh baby oh, okay i should i should probably move them over i should have the whole family obviously meet them but pretend they're not walking <laughs> i'm using this opportunity to have the the relationships go up and everything too but anyway okay so prior to what i did to this episode is with the woohoo wellness mod you if your sim has the wants children trait it'll say whether they want kids or not um and you keep trying for a baby this is only with the in the for i think it's called the fertility add-on let me double check um so you do have to just move that into your folder as well but with this you have to try for pregnancy instead of try for baby you'll have the try for pregnancy come up i think they can only try for a pregnancy in the bed but if you do it several times you will get this message so it says princess aria has tried for baby a tried for a, a baby a few times without success now it may be time to have each partner's fertility checked to, or to consider other options if there are fertility issues so you will have that come up i think uh, they had to try for pregnancy about three times for that message to come up and then you will also get this mood lit so fail to conceive from failed pregnancy test sometimes it could be harder to extend to expand a family than hoped for and then also this one so this is an angry one it's as frustrated by try for baby failures why can't we seem to have a baby because i think at this point it's it's been a while they've been trying for a while Arya's is very frustrated again she's probably taken more pregnancy tests than she can count anymore oh priya oh my gosh you baby on the floor <laughs> she's just eating the food on the floor so i think she's just frustrated she's probably trying to put on maybe a bit of a front for tonight and you guys saw 
saw in the story post as well that she did try to just she she didn't tell Gabriel she took a test. I think she's taken so many at this point she doesn't really tell him every time anymore. But they're they're having dinner currently. Um, where where are the twins? Are they? Oh no! Stop going. Why are they outside? Hold on. I really wish we had better babies. That's an update I really want. Yeah, that they're, they're supposed to be basically newborns, and technically newborns aren't supposed to travel. But I'm pretty sure that's something to do with like the immune system on the plane and everything. But they're rich and they have private jets, so I don't, I honestly don't think that would be an issue. Of course, we have Arya and Kimmy talking to each other here. We got Dean. We got Leilana. We'll of course check in with them in the next episode. We have Lokalani, Leilana's grand, or no, 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 Leilana's mother, which I'm pretty sure she still has a long time left to live. She is mermaid. They tend to live a very long time. And then, of course, Gabriel, Juliet, Makana. All right, so so now we're at dinner. They've all just finished eating. I think that during dinner, I, I'm sure that some of the questions and comments that Arya are getting, like she's already on edge. I was thinking like local Lani probably and Leilana, but maybe local Lani first. Let, let's have you, can you talk to her? Do you know her? Hold on, control sim. You would probably know her. Oh, you kind of, okay, yeah. I, I mean, well, I guess they don't see her all that much, but she wanted to come friendly. Oh, ask if Fritz's Arya has children. Okay, so I I was going to have her ask when her and Gabriel were going to have kids. And here's the thing. I think that question is a lot more personal than people think it is. And it's a very common question. People get asked this all the time. Couples get asked this all the time. Like my family members sometimes too. Like I it just honestly strangers sometimes too. People ask this question all the time. And I don't think people realize how personal of a question it is because you never know what a couple is going through. For example, Gabriel and Arya. And I, why can't you talk to Arya more? Didn't you just, didn't I just ask you to ask her something? I think that just casually, Lokalani would ask. It says ask if she has children, but she would know if she has children or not. Why is the lights off? Are the lights supposed to be off? I think the lights are supposed to come on in the summertime around like 10 or something like that. I think technically it's supposed to be spring, but everything just looks prettier in the summertime. Anyway, I think Lokalani would ask Arya and Arya is like, but she asks if, if they're if they're going to be having kids soon. And Arya is like, Ho hopefully. I don't know. I, something. I, I think the question would would trigger her a bit, and I'm sure she's gotten it a lot at this point. But I think she's already in not that great of a mood from taking the pregnancy test right before dinner. I, I like how she just gets up and was like, "All right, I'm gonna go do something else." I think that question would have not helped at all. And then I was also thinking the twins are just. <laughs> They're just here. You know what I should. You know what I should do. Hold on. Okay, I'm putting these toddler beds here because I mean they they're it, they're toddlers technically. The game recognizes them as toddlers, but they are newborns. <laughs> um, so can you both? Can you both just stay there sleeping? You're not s supposed to be walking. Pretend people are carrying them. Pretend people in the family are carrying them. Dean, what's your relationship like with your grandkids? I'm curious. Wait, come back. Hold on. Whoa, wait. Also, Dean is Gabriel's uncle as well. Um, in case anyone forgot oh my god okay first of all um you, which which one is this i think that's pilapo his hair turned red did you guys see that oh no <laughs> that happened earlier i had to change it right before i started filming that just happens sometimes with the toddlers either their eyebrows will change color or their hair will change color well i don't know i don't know <laughs> i'll change it later okay okay there are the lights yeah yeah it's like almost 10 o'clock i think when the, all the lights turn on um um, okay, so now like Lana and Arya are, are talking, so I, I think that they would probably want to go and, and see the, the twins that are pretend they're holding. I don't know where everyone else is. Why is no one else joining? Come, do you want to come in here? Well, I mean, maybe they're not. Maybe, maybe it's just Arya and Leilana in here for a second. I, I was gonna have them like, oh, tuck in. You can, you can, you can tuck them in. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway, uh, so I th I think Leilana. Oh, is your relationship not high? Hold on. Okay, there we go. I, I upped their relationship a bit. Maybe not good friends, but like it it's her mother's best friend. Like this is their auntie, basically. They're just chatting and with reminisce about wedding day. That's interesting considering what's going on. I feel like Leilana would also make a comment about the kiddos. I guess I guess as if she has children 
children. Obviously, she doesn't have children. I don't even think she would ask when her and Gabriel are having kids. I think she would make a comment. Leilani kind of gives me like ignorant auntie energy. Uh, <laughs> so I think she would probably say something along the lines of like, oh, you and Gabriel better start having kids soon. It's like, especially with Arya being the heir and all that stuff. And now Kimmy and Mikata has had twins, which I think is putting even more pressure on Arya. So I, I think Leilani would make some comments. And of course, she doesn't mean harm by them. But again, you, you don't know what someone's going through. Leilani, I don't think she would know that her and Arya or that Arya Arya and Gabriel are um, struggling right now. I, I don't think that that's a topic that would necessarily come up between them. I don't think it's something I'd talk about. Um, and I think that would really make it worse for Arya. Oh no, did the, oh no! I was gonna say, I was gonna have the moodlet. The moodlet already went away. The one that came with the thingy um, that I just showed you guys, the angry one. I mean, that's okay. I don't I don't necessarily think she would be angry. I think she would be frustrated and sad. And and she'd probably wanna, wanna go upstairs. And Leilana's probably just by her grandchildren anyway. Um, but may maybe she just goes up here, sit, and then Gabriel's still feeling flirty. Oh, he's going up. Okay, so that's what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to go up and see if Arya was okay. Other things on their mind from tension. Interesting. So, uh, let's see. Can you, Gabriel, ca so calm emotions? Oh, Kimmy. Oh, no, no. I, I also don't know if, like, I think Kimmy knows. Kimmy, I'm sorry. You gotta go downstairs. Um, I, I think Kimmy knows that Oh, she definitely knows, sorry. She knows that Ari and Gabriel are trying, but I, I think with everything going on, I don't, well, I, I, okay, so this is the conversation that Ari and Gabriel are just having, so I don't think Kimmy would know about it yet. So Gabriel can discuss sad mood. So ask her what's going on, if she's okay. And then what what to do with the mod. So pregnancy and family. Okay, okay, so so sorry. This is with Arya talking to Gabriel. So good pregnancy and family. And then tell about negative pregnancy test. So maybe she, she tells him this time that of, she just took a pregnancy test and then what uh, Lokalani and Leilana said to her. And now Gabriel has the told about failure to get pregnant from partner sad news. Oh no, wait, come back. Wait, this pregnancy test failed for Prince Gabriel's partner. They will have to try again if they want a baby. But of, of course, like they, they know they've been trying for like a year. So I think now Gabriel would say like, I mean, maybe Naya has already suggested that they go to a fertility clinic and that they get a fertility test. So for this next part, I think they might. Uh, it, it might have to be the next day that we do this next part. So I'm, I'm going to end the dinner party. All right. So it's now the next morning. All right. So I think Gabriel would suggest to Arya, like maybe we should both get our fertility. Wait, so this, have, uh, have, oh, sorry. Ask Princess Arya to get her fertility evaluated. Who's calling you? Hey, I heard you became friends. Ha ha. Ha ha. No. All right. So ask Princess Arya to get her fertility evaluated, but I'm, I'm also gonna have, I mean, like, Gabriel's gonna go too, I, although I don't know if I can have Arya ask him after he's already left, so I can just have Gabriel go himself. So he's gonna ask Arya too, but technically they're going together. All right, I'll go see what's what, okay. All right, so they're gonna go do that. I I, I think, I mean, like, I think Naya, again, has suggested this to Arya and, and Gabriel, maybe. Well, I think to Arya, um, about both of them before, but I, I feel like maybe Arya at first was is like, a a little hesitant to go like she doesn't want there to be something that is causing them to like she, uh, what's the what's the way to say this like you know how you if you know for sure if you, that it's like true um I, I i think she doesn't want it to be true all right so gabriel has gotten his news first it's i actually didn't touch his fertility rate in the game but it says i'm sorry to announce that you have low fertility starting a pregnancy might be a little difficult i think some people had also mentioned that like the fire could have had something to do with it as well um if there was like poison in the fire uh that charlotte had put in i think like arsenic or something oh oh okay Okay, but Arya's says, this may be difficult to hear. I am terribly sorry to announce that it seems you are infertile. If you hope to have children of your own, I know that this news is devastating, yet I want to remind you that other options exist. You could look into surrogacy in vitro or even adoption if or when you are ready. I don't know if that, oh, sorry, that might be vitro instead of vitro. They just got this news. Um, Arya has the mood lit, um, learned about being infertile from sad news and fertile. That means that means to never have a biological child of her own. Um, and then Gabriel's is uh, learned about low 
fertility. Prince Gabriel wants to, oh, whoops, wants to have children and is a little saddened to learn he has low fertility. But one thing they can do is discuss about um, a surrogate. I, I can have Gabriel ask, discuss having a baby through a surrogate. The thing is though, I don't know if Arya would want, like, I feel like this is something that she's wanted for a long time, years. She's wanted to be pregnant. She's wanted to have that experience. She's wanted to, of course, be a mother and all that stuff. So I don't know if she would think that she could handle watching someone do that. I don't know if she would want to go the surrogate route. I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna have her say that she's not interested in doing that. There's also the artificial insemination. It said that was an option, but I don't actually think it would work if if Arya is infertile. I, like the game, I don't think it'll let you. Um, so let's say Arya is on board, but but they suggested it. Maybe I should just have her try it. L okay, so let me set this to like one. There, there was, of course, is the good chance that it probably wouldn't work. Attempt artificial insemination. And they, they would want to do, they ha they're rich, so money isn't a, an issue here. Um, and of course they would want to do the highest chance of success. Okay, all right, she's, she's going. G Gabriel, you have to go too. <laughs> You're a part of this process too. Can you wait? Hold on. What? Oh, are you not going? Oh, you're gonna cry in the closet instead. Okay. All right. So Arya's done. It says hopefully the insemination attempt will have worked. Now I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test. Okay, take a pregnancy test. Obviously, this. Way, I mean, she she's not going to know if she's pregnant until like a month later. So I don't know. Pretend a month has gone by. It would not be this fast. But uh, I, I just wanted to do this in this episode, and then we'll continue it in the next episode and, and some time will have passed in the next episode. All right, so it says she's she's not pregnant. Uh, maybe next time. Honestly, they would probably try this multiple times. Failed artificial insemination. This attempt at artificial insemination failed all this money and all these hopes for nothing. I don't think they're concerned about the money. They've got plenty of money. The hopes, 100% yes, I think that would, that, I'm like, yeah, that would really, this is, this is really hard for them. And it's taking a huge emotional toll on both of them too. We're going, we're going to continue this in the next episode with Gabriel and Arya and see. I'll have some story posts out of just like some, just a few of the moments from this episode that we kind of went over. But yeah, you guys also got to see the Woohoo Wellness mod. Let me know what you guys think if you're going to use this part of the Woohoo Wellness mod in your game too. But we're going to go ahead and leave them here and then we're going to go to the Windenburg Palace. All right, so we are now at the Windenburg Palace and I'm realizing that there are some of the wallpaper that's supposed to be inside is on the outside for some reason. I'm gonna fix that later. Um, I, I'm still renovating the Windenburg Palace, but I actually have a lot to show you guys and I'm really excited. But before we get into that, so we're having like all the teens hanging out here. Um, we have Alice May, Caspian, Graham, Molly, Grace, Frederick, Jessica, Nani, Malia, and William and Gia. So that William is Gia's new girlfriend. We met her in the last episode. And um, we are also going to have Cedric. Cedric has a friend over. And if you guys saw in the story post, so it, it was Alice May and Cedric. They were at this movie premiere and Cedric met a actor. His, he's a child actor. His name is Sterling. And Cedric just thought he was so pretty. Like that's the best way to put it. He doesn't really know him. Um, they got to talk a bit at the event and they are now hanging out for the first time. So I think that maybe Cedric had like, had a very obvious crush on him and Alice May could definitely tell. And then maybe like a few days later, Sterling called and asked if Cedric wanted to, I, I keep wanting to say like play date cause like of the whole kids thing, but I imagine they're like 12 years old. Um, well, Cedric is 12 years old and Sterling would be about the same age. So um, I, maybe they would, he asked if he wanted to hang out and maybe, maybe Amira and I feel like Cedric wouldn't be good at hiding this, um, but maybe Amira and Jabari were like, who's Sterling? And then Cedric tells them. So they let him come over and then Jabari's like, listen, you, you're too young to, I don't think that the, they're just hanging out, but Jabari, you know how Jabari is. He, he doesn't want his kids to date too young. So um, he's like, I feel like it'd be kind of embarrassing for Cedric and it'd be like, no, we, we haven't talked yet. We're, 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 this is the first time we're hanging out. Anyway, they're hanging out in Cedric's um, playroom, entertainment room um, with the door open and so are the teenagers, they're right next door. But I wanna show you the renovations that I have made so far. Um, so I've, if you've seen on my stream, I 
I've been doing and re renovating the whole Crown Royal suite, which used to be Amira's room, now it's Alice May's room. Um, and I'm not done yet, so ignore the hallways. I think I'm going to do something like completely different with this area. Is that William? Yes, it's William. Anyway, I, I want the ballroom to be like two stories and, and all this stuff, but I'm, I'm gonna get to that another time. Right now, I just have the Crown Royal suite to show you. So I'm not completely done with it yet, but this is Alice May's room so far. I'm not sure if you guys remember what it looked like before, but I think this looks more mature. Um, And then in here, so this is her, she technically would have her own office, but she's converted it into like a little entertainment room. So I guess, not to play room, but you'll see. I'm really excited to show you guys, but this is like where she does her schoolwork. I'll, I'll probably put a few more stuff here, but so it is just kind of this little corner, but I'll, I'll show you why. Um, and then this is the bathroom. We did the bathroom on stream. I think I'm gonna add a few more things to it, like paintings and stuff. And then, hold on. This is Alice May's closet. I still would like to add more stuff. I, I think I wanna put something above the shelves, like where the windows are peeking through. Um, and I, I wanna do like a whole changing area too, um, and, and put more stuff on the walls. So. It, it, it's not completely done, but I really wanted to show it to you guys because I'm so excited. Okay, and then two more rooms to show you guys and then we'll get back into the gameplay. I'm just, I'm so excited with what, what has been done here. So this is Alice May's gaming room. It's it's where like her friends and her hang out. I think this is where her and Cedric hang out a lot. Cedric has his own too, um, but this is this is her gaming area. I, I don't like to have real world, world references in my world because I'm very adamant about it like being its own world. But I mean, they play the Sims. They play like Sims 1. I can see her playing The Sims. I can see her playing uh, something like Animal Crossing. I can see her playing something like, what else is there? Like Harvest Moon and, and all those games. So I got her a bunch of stuff. And I downloaded something. I'll link this too. It's a functional switch, which I mean, again, no real world uh, references, but maybe it's called a Simtendo switch instead of a Nintendo switch. But anyway, the, the teens are hanging out here. And then this is Cedric's room. I don't think Cedric's as into video games as Alice May is. Like I think he'll play with Alice. Me, but I don't think he plays on his own necessarily. Um, but this is Cedric's, I've updated it. Uh, if you don't remember, this used to be the nursery and then it was Cedric's playroom and now he's older. So I wanted to do something more mature. So this is his own space. Ign please ignore the leaves coming in through the wall. I'll, I'll try to fix that later. I mean, I, I did give him a little computer so he, he can do stuff on the computer. <laughs> I think he likes to do like more like art though and um, all that stuff. So I have, Alice May made him this, I, I had her, I have her doing more embroidery. So she made him a little rainbow rainbow embroider, embroidery? A rainbow hoop, an embroidered hoop. Is that what it's called? And then we've got a bunch of like little toys and pictures, of course, and then books, lots of books. Anyway, Sterling's in here and I've re-downloaded the first crush mod for this. Sentiment game, you made my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile, that's so cute. Alice May and, and Caspian are still secret. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Friendly. So they're getting to know each other. Maybe discuss interests. I put little snacks out for them. They're not technically edible, but that, that's fine. They're cute. Um, okay, so let's see. Friendly. And the first, oh, uh, first love mod? The first crush mod? I think it might be the first love mod. But we've used it before a long time ago, though. I think it's when our current teens were kids. Oh, oh, first love. Oh, first love likes boys. Yes. Oh, that's an update. That's an update since we last had this. Okay. So yeah, Sterling is the one who called Cedric. Um, I think he's also got a bit of a crush on Cedric. And I feel like Cedric wasn't expecting it at all. And he like freaked out when the staff member was like, uh, your royal highness, uh, uh, Sterling McGowan is on the phone for you. And I'm sure Alice May turned to him and was like, <gasps> and Cedric was like, oh my gosh. And then that's when Jamari and Amir were probably like, who's Sterling? Um, so yeah. <laughs> Let me see. What what can we do with the first love mod? Ask about day. They might have to talk a bit more. Maybe maybe you guys can play the game together. Play with play with Sterling. There you go. And then so we got the teens over here. Oh oh, and I wanted to show you guys too. Okay, so yes, we we have this. All right, so these this pro controller. They're just decor, but I, I think Alice May. Those would definitely be Alice May's. So play a multiplayer game. Play. My Sims Racing, would that basically be Mario Kart? How many people can play? Let's, do oh, Graham definitely plays. I think Molly Grace will play, but I don't think she plays a lot. Oh, okay, so four people at a time can play. That's fine. Oh no, does Benji not like it? <gasps> no, he doesn't like it. Benji, oh, I'm sorry. Poor baby, oh no. Benji, 
Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Bubbles does this. My dog does this. Benji, baby. Are you okay? You, you're kind of frozen. He looks fine. Oh, okay. Molly Grace, are you gonna play? I feel feel like the only ones who play- oh wait, 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 that's Benji. I feel like the only ones who play video games out of this group- like, they'll play together for fun, but I feel like the only ones that, like, play on their own is probably Alice May, Caspi, and Graham. So, uh, uh, Sissy, I know she's, like, a teenager now. She's supposed to be, like- I think she'll start hanging out with this group when she's a little older. Technically, she looks the same. She looks older than Alice May, but, um, she's not supposed to be, so it's The Sims. I have to work with what I have. That's why we haven't seen much of her. I'm waiting until she's, like, Technically supposed to be older. Oh no, why are you sad? Oh, because you lost the game. It's okay, Seti. Um, all right, Cedric, why don't you... Let's see, can can you guys get to know each other more? I'm trying to see if there's anything they can do. Joke about bananas, sure. Um, I'm trying to see if there is anything that they can do um, with the first love mod a little bit more. Discuss embarrassing mood, sure. Um, oh yeah, Ava, okay, Ava's still living with them. Um, she's doing better. I She'll probably end up moving out soon. I was gonna have her like go to therapy and stuff. Sentiment gained, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. Maybe Cedric just said that to him. I don't know what else we can do though. I, I wanted to see. I mean, that's okay. This is the first time they're ever hanging out. So if we need to take things slow, that is fine. Maybe they're not admitting their crushes to each other yet. But yeah, we'll we'll get to see more of Cedric and Sterling for sure. And then also just before we go to the Monarchs Ball, I wanted to like, I wanted to show this. So Alice May is in a rebellious phase. And I think that some of it, so we, we see her mention that um, she wishes in, in the garden party story post that she wishes Amira would have a little bit more faith in her because Amira, Amira's paranoid. Uh, that's one of her traits. She is still not letting Alice May and Caspian go public. Um, she's got her own reasons for that. We'll see way more of it uh, when we get back into Alice May's story in a bit. We're just like, we're, we're focusing on a few other things at the moment. Um, but I, Alice May is is now in a rebellious phase, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, so now we're going to have the Royal Monarchs Ball. Okay, so we are at the new Selvadrata Palace for the semi-annual Monarchs meeting and the annual Monarchs Ball. I have reached it off because I don't know how my game is gonna handle this. I don't know how recording is gonna go because this palace is huge. I did put, I, I, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I did a full tour of this palace by Victoria and it is currently just exclusive for the royal family. It might be posted to the public later, but not currently. Anyway, we're gonna see it today. We're not gonna see all of it, but currently, let me go to the monarchs meeting. So they're they're already all dressed for their ball. The, the ball. Guests are currently arriving, but I'm having them talk. I'm, I want to have them talk. I'm like, they're going to get up in a second, aren't they? Um, so what I wanted to do is I basically give a pep talk. Sure. Um, I, t I did post something on my Instagram where it was essentially take your air to work day. Um, and I'll, I'll link the post in case you have not seen it, but I did post like in the meeting for like for the caption, I posted like what they talked about and everything. And I, I, I don't know how much new they would talk about, like how many new things they would talk about here, but based like that was the biggest update. So uh, while they're talking about their political stuff, I'll go over the post really quickly and tell you guys what was discussed. So essentially it, they just talked about like w when the heirs were there. So it was like, you know, of course, Alice May, Cornboy, Frederick, all of them. Um, and Diori and Osiris just kind of s sat out and watched. Um, but we talked about what the next three debutante balls are going to be, what palaces are going to be at. So Cedric's going to be at the Henford Palace. Diori's is going to be at the Guangxi Palace. And Osiris's is going to be here at the Salvadorada Palace. Obviously those are a while away, but that is what was discussed. And then they talked about their stances on arranged marriage. So pro-arranged marriages, the kingdoms are Oasis Springs and Sulani, starting with Kimmy and Makana's future kids. So Kimmy kind of convinced Makana. Um, and then open to arranged marriage, Willow Creek and UKSD. And against arranged marriage, Windenburg and Burlington Bay, undecided Guangxi. So those are their current stances. Of course, we've had kids born since then. So we had, I mean, they're not here, but obviously we've had Vivian born and... Oh, Sulani, right, right. And then uh, the twins, but... They, I don't think 
they would talk about that yet. I don't think they would decide that for them as infants. I think they would probably wait till their children. So yeah, that is that stuff going on. I want to have the monarchs meeting in like every palace as it goes along. I don't know if I'm gonna show. I, I would like to have like the monarchs ball every once in a while, but I don't know if I'm gonna show the meetings every single time. But let's have the monarchs pretend there's, they might still be having their meetings. Zamora, is that the dress I picked for you? I thought I picked a different dress. I feel like the lights need to be more dim. Let me see. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Uh... I mean, it looks more like a party, I guess. I well, I, I don't know if I want all, all of them to be this this color. It's it's really red. So well, we have the ball going on currently. It, it's such a big palace, even with, I think there's like 50 people here. Um, even with that many people, they, they, it doesn't look like there's many of them because the palace is so big, but there's so much space. Oh my gosh, is that Alice May jamming in the middle right there? It is. Look, what's the Cedric looked mad for a second. Cedric why are you angry? I don't know what's wrong. Oh my gosh, he looks pissed. Why are you so angry, Cedric? You are not an angry little bean. You are a happy little bean. What happened? I don't know what's going on. Um, Alice, oh, Rin too. Rin is mad. Wait, 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 can you see? Rin's angry. I don't think Rin's that angry of a child either. Alice Mae's just jamming. Uh, you, sir, don't have a sh proper shirt on? Also, oh, oh, you guys aren't really dressed for this. But look at Sissy. Sissy's reading to Osiris. She, Osiris is sad. Poor baby. Yeah, Sissy looks like a full-grown person. I had tried the preteen preset on her, um, but then I her, her foot went missing when I was using the preset, so I was like, never mind. <laughs> Just pretend she's uh, like, what? how old would she be now? Like 14? So I guess a teenager. And some people look older than they are, but you know. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna have the monarchs like come downstairs. I might have to have them teleport down. I was also thinking maybe Adric and Destic could try for a baby. She, wait, 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 Anya, think about family member. <gasps> Yo, what? Oh my god, I've never seen her do- Wait, have I? I don't remember. Are they talking about her during the meeting? Maybe they are. Interesting. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm- I- I locked them in here so no one would leave, so I need to teleport them all downstairs. Alright, so yeah, pretend- pretend the meeting's over. They're- they're all dancing, they're all vibing. I didn't invite, like- like, Cassian's not invited, Graham's not invited, um, like, Malia, obviously Jessica and- and Frederick are both here, but just cause, it, like, it's a- it's a very- very looked forward to ball, but I don't know if it's like the biggest ball. Like, I feel like it's a very exclusive ball, you know? Um, and then obviously Caspian and, and Alice May are still secret. So, whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, so the Monarchs meeting is over. Currently, Desta and Adric are sneaking off to try for a baby. <laughs> so they're doing that in the middle of the Monarchs ball. Hopefully she's pregnant. Well, I guess we'll find out. But we are, we still have everyone like dancing in the circle here. I don't know why William looks so tense right now. But yeah, G is not here. I, I was gonna say, though like they could have like can we can we slow dance oh oh break out the candles make it romantic king adric and queen des De no wait are we hooing for the first time no how do you think they made osiris what the heck um but i did baby gate i baby gated originally but then people still got past the gates and i have no idea how so i put up walls and doors instead um it looks like makai's wife lily is chilling in the bathroom with ellen Okay, interesting. Oh my gosh, Aisha, of course, is posing for pictures. Natalia, I love that Natalia went to go talk to them too because I always felt like Natalia and Kimmy got along really well. Also, Sissy's been kind of on and off with, I don't know why William's just standing there by himself, but Sissy's been on and off with Lord Zachary, who I don't, I, I swear I saw him earlier. I don't know where he went. Oh, you are here. Oh, Sissy, go talk to him. You, okay, so we can slow dance now, right? Slow dance together with, oh yeah, okay, because I, I got rid of the slow dancing mod. So you can you can slow dance with anyone without it being romantic, right? Well, you can slow dance. Oh, right, because you, you, you can slow dance with kids. I forgot about that. Oh, wait, Alice May, slow dance with Cedric. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, oh, wait, that's so cute. Oh, I definitely saw this on a stream, but it's still just as cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love this. Han, Han, 
Wait, Han, can you slow dance with Zayori? Okay, Han might be too tense to dance with Zayori. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I think because he's a loner. Not my tempo. Oh, he doesn't like the music. Well, sorry, Han. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I just wanted to see you slow dance with Zayori. Okay, that's fine. I guess not. Okay, let, let, let's see if Dust is pregnant. Okay, so it says that Desta's not pregnant, but I literally just checked and she is pregnant. I I, I feel like I've had this glitch before. Well, well that's not, no, I wanted the whole like, yeah, like, yay, she's pregnant thing. Can you like tell Atrick? Oh my gosh, the lag. Um, Can you tell Atrick that you're pregnant? Wait, tell about negative pregnancy tests, but you're pregnant, Desta, you're pregnant. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's neutral to being pregnant, really. Oh, dude, she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to... You're pregnant, Desta. You are. You are. I checked. You're pregnant. Okay, I, we, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to say she's pregnant and, pr and pretend they do the little, like, woohoo thing. Um... Yay! <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing she's not she's pregnant. Or that I don't know why it's saying she's not pregnant. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh god. Please let me click on the people. Um, well, I think Aisha has been posing like this for literal hours. Like <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yes, and I feel like her necks look a little weird like that, but she she knows she's fabulous. Can we if we if we have Alice May and Cedric, um is that Makai? Is that Ember? Why are you talking to Ember? AM! Why is Ember always feeling flirty? I swear she's always feeling flirty. Um, Alice May and Ember are having an unpleasant conversation. What is this? Okay, I don't know what Oh <gasps> guys! Wait, what? <laughs> As to feel baby? Wait, wait, Makai, what are you doing? Wait, no, can you let me click on her plate? Oh my, I'm about to end this party just so I can interact with- What? Oh my god, I did not realize she was pregnant. You cannot see that she's pregnant from up here. Oh, wait, who's baby? <laughs> Help, help someone, anyone, William, 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 Molly Grace. Oh my God, oh my God, Molly Grace, you have to see who's out here and what's going on. Oh my God, please, let me, let me select, I'm about to end this party just so I can click on people. Molly Grace, Molly Grace, Molly Grace, Molly Grace. Where's William? Is it Williams? No. No, 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 Molly Grace, come out here right now. Oh my god, the tea. Wait, you will not believe your eyes, ears, eyes. Makai, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why is she here? Don't shut up, pregnant woman, please, Molly Grace, you're above that. Wait, Molly Grace, just come out here. Wait, 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 wait please. We don't flirt with her. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. I don't know what I'm doing. Act tough, I guess. Wait, would it be Liam's? Wait, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You, wait, Makai, just leave, please go away. This isn't, this doesn't concern you. I don't, I don't think. Makai, go away. Go, just go away. I'm sorry. Not to, not to be mean. Makai, I love you. I love you so much. I'm so sorry. You don't have to leave. Why are you angry? He's mad at me for making him leave. Makai, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, okay. Would she be asking where William is? I have to control her. Is she here to see William? Or w w is, is Liam here? Um, who am I teleporting? You, you your cousin. William. I teleported him here, William. Oh, there you are, William. Okay, I don't. I'm all right. I, I'm. I'm ending. I'm ending the event. So that way, it's not going to lag. We might have to go elsewhere. Wait. Okay. Ending early. Yes. I'm. So, I'm sorry to end. This is. I'm sorry. This is more important. You would probably share big news. <laughs> I don't think she would just show up somewhere pregnant. I mean, they would probably hear about this, right? Um, uncomfortable. William's uncomfortable. <laughs> He's like, um... Imagine William just like wide-eyed, like, oh my gosh. Wait, is, is it yours? I can't even... I can't find out. It won't let me. Um, maybe ask baby's due date? <laughs> it, okay, so realistically, I'm looking at their relationships here, and like, that's not the best, and like... Technically, after the time skip, it's been like eight months, but I mean, in game though, William that I know of, William has not done anything with ever. Also, he has a girlfriend. Oh, oh, Liam. Oh, Liam's relationship though with her. Hot and cold, are they on or off? People can never tell. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking, story-wise, if she doesn't know who the father is, because you know that like William and ever uh, 
who did a thing. Um, and then they, like a week later, kind of, was like the deb- Was it a week later? I think a week later was the Debbie Tom ball. And then Ember and Liam hooked up in Molly Grace's bed. But like, William, I feel like is the- Okay, if, if I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, if 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 she's pregnant and her parents would be like, we need to like, who's the father? We need to talk to them. We need to figure this out and stuff. And like, I'm thinking because of like, I mean, it's more modern now and people don't do this as much. But like, even though they're high status, it's like, would the parents expect her to marry the the father of the child? Like the whole thing, like the whole thing with um, was it Helena and Prince Michael or was it Katarina? And Michael? I think it was Helena and Michael. So they they were forced to get married when they. Were of age but if ember doesn't know would she say it's williams because he's the better well one he's a higher status than liam well okay liam's the marquis now but williams family his father's the duke so so he would be in higher status than liam also i feel like from ember's point of view this is awful from ember's point of view william is easier to control I feel like she would think about that. Set Lady Ember's status. Wait, what do I do? Ask doctor to start birth control. It's a little too late for that, hun. Um... I can't click on them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're, we're I'm gonna, I'm, we're, we're gonna leave the palace. I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna do something. Hold on. Okay, so we are back at Ember's house, which we've never been to before. This is kind of just a random house. Uh, probably doesn't fit the style I was going for for Burlington Bay, but that's fine. Just for now. Okay. I've seen my friend do this before, so I know this is a thing. Oh, she's having a pregnancy freak out. This is with the woohoo on this mod. Unwanted pregnancy. Ember did not expect this pregnancy and it was not sure what she wants to do, but it's happening. What should she do Pre from discovering pregnancy pregnant it hits lady ember now how young she still is how little she wants another major and life-changing happening at this point in time did i read that right how little she feels to handle such a thing and yet this pregnancy is exactly that major life-changing impossible not to freak out oh God, i'm not reading this right is that major life-changing impossible not to freak out what will her parents say her friends the father of her child who's the father of her child okay ember's telling her parents oh, wait did her mom just freak out also this is makai's ex-girlfriend i don't know if anyone remembers remembers that. Oh, she's crying. Although she's been pregnant though. Teenage child pregnant. This sim just learned about their teenage child being pregnant. Will they react well and offer support or react poorly and refuse to be supportive? Uh, oh, ooh, uh. I mean, I think she would support her. You, you, you gotta have to at this point. Like people are gonna talk, you know? I need to give her a makeover. Um, she looks the same that she did years and years ago. Okay, what do we do now? Do let's invite over William. <laughs> or let's go there. Let, let's go to William's house. Uh, William, I think, would be her, like, it would be her hope that it's William. So she'd probably tell them it's William. Although they know she got kicked out of the palace. So you know what? Maybe maybe she lied. Okay, I, I know, I know something has happened between, like, now and the debutante ball. But, like, I'm trying to think timeline-wise. If, if I want to match this with the timeline. Maybe she told her parents that her and Liam, when they were found in Molly Grace's bed and kicked out of the palace, that, uh, they weren't doing that. Uh, so maybe she has to stick to that lie and is saying it's Williams. Even though, with the woo on this, you could take a paternity test. Oh, oh my god, if it's Williams, Molly Grace would. Would. <gasps> she would scream. She'd be like, no, if this is your child, then we have to deal with it with Ember too. If you have to marry Ember because of this, because I think Kellen and Megan would say that William has to, maybe. Um, but if, if, if he has to marry her, like, or she's like, we will never see you again. <laughs> Are we gonna be able to finish this in this episode? I feel like this episode has got really long. Uh, William, where are you? There you are. You're playing chess. I'm so sorry to spoil your fun. Announce unwanted pregnancy. Okay, I've never done this before, so I don't I don't know. Like if something happens from this. All right. Oh, William's like, what? William? Oh, 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 they're both crying. <laughs> You've already announced your pregnancy. Do I have to control William? He's uncomfortable. Unwanted pregnancy. They got pregnant but didn't want to. Such a difficult situation and it makes Lord William trouble to hear about it. But is, oh, do I just saw do a paternity test. Hold on, I want to see what the other options are too. Question being the father of the child or deny. No, question for, I want to see what question does. Well, the mother just came in here like, hey, um, <laughs> so we have some news. Where are your parents, William? Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what happened. Pregnancy, maybe deny. Deny being the father of the child. 
child. Where is the truth from double parenthood status? What? No matter that Lord William expresses disbelief over what his lover said about his relationship to their child, his lover, what? Will not tell any different story. Either it is true or they are step. Wait, what? Wait, he she's not your lover, William. Please, don't call her that. What is your, your sim profile say about her? Oh my God, what would Gia say? What would, may have a child together. Oh my gosh, pregnancy. Oh, okay, okay. They're good. They're gonna do paternity tests. I think paternity tests in real life are after the baby's born, but that's fine. Okay, they're getting a paternity test done now. William has pater paternity testing from ongoing paternity tests. Truth is about to be revealed, be it pleasant or not. Well, I don't think he wants to be the father. No, like he definitely does not want to be the father. Promise challenge from lover's denial. Well, this lover of Lady Embers doesn't believe what they told them about their relationship towards her latest child, her not yet child. Perhaps they will keep bugging her about this unless they go together for a paternity test. And if Lady Ember lied to them, the result won't be pretty. <gasps> oh. Uh, paternity test results. This sim is not the father of Lady Ember's child. Lady Ember's lover, he's not your lover, was relieved to learn that they're not the father of the child, whether that's what Lady Ember wanted or not. There was nothing to do this anymore, but accept it. They're not the father, and now everyone knows. Oh my gosh. Molly Grace would throw a party. Relief. From paternity test, Lord William had hoped to not be the father of a child, and reality went his way. Oh my, wait, that means it's Liam! <laughs> Liam and Ember! Oh my god, you guys. Oh my, okay, okay, we we can't, I, I, this episode has been really long, so I think we're gonna do this in the next episode. I'm gonna use the Woohoo Wellness mod to tell Liam he's the father. Guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what they should do. I would love to hear what you guys think. I bet William is so happy that he's not the father. I just had to check that out and, and see how it went, but... Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna end this episode here. We did so much in this episode. What did we, what did we do? Oh, John and Genevieve, and then, oh, Cedric and Sterling and the teens, of course, everything we said about that, and then, oh, Arya Gabriel. There was a lot going on in this episode. The Monarch Ball, and of course, the Ember and Liam situation. We're gonna continue with the Arya and Gabriel stuff in the next episode, and I am going to have story posts on the moments that happened in this episode, so we will touch more on that. Probably no story posts about the whole Ember thing, but yeah, okay. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.